Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, we're gonna dive into how do you add comments to your fields in Tableau, all right? So let's start with adding comments via default properties. Uh, when you do this, you can add a comment to any type of field, a measure, a dimension, a calculation, uh, a column that came from your original table of data. So let's add a comment to the sales field. Uh, I'm gonna select sales, hit the drop down in the data pane, go to default properties and select comment. All right, that's gonna pull up uh, an edit comment dialog box. So I might say something like sales uh, represents all revenue uh, regardless, if I can spell, <laughs> uh, if it is part of profit uh, or not, okay? So put in there whatever you want. Now, one important thing is that whatever kind of size and color that you choose for your text here is gonna be inherited when your user sees the comment. So what I mean by that is this is pretty small text. What I might wanna do is to bump this up a bit larger and then maybe I make it orange and bold so it really stands out. Okay, so now where this comment would show up is if I hover over my sales field in the data pane, you can see that the comment is showing up. If I hover over a copy of my sales field uh, in the worksheet on rows or columns or the marks card, it's also gonna show up there, okay? If you ever wanna edit that, you just hit the drop down, default properties, uh, comment, and then change it to whatever you wanna do. So you might be thinking, well, why would I really want that? Like, when would I wanna add a comment, right? So these can be helpful tips for you down the road, especially if it's a complex field, trying to remember, oh, this is what this is, this is what this represents. One of the most important places that I will use this is when I have fields with similar names. Like maybe I have one that's called sales and another one is sales amount and another one is sales total. And maybe they do slightly different things, right? Maybe one of them is a level of detail expression or maybe one of them has a certain type of number formatting. And so what I'll do is I will leave these hints for myself. You know, I'll say something like, um, you know, this is the one that's formatted in millions. This is the one that's formatted in thousands. So that later on when I'm developing, I'm not like, oh wait, which sales field is which, okay? So there you go, that's, uh, that's default properties comments, okay? Um, so next up, let's look at how to add a single line comment to a calculation, all right? So if I uh, create a calculated field, hit the drop down here, let's create a calculated field, I'll call it uh, cost of goods sold. And so this would just be my sales uh, minus my profit. Okay, so when you talk about something like cost of goods sold, that just basically means, hey, if you're a business and you had a revenue of a million dollars, you know, not all that revenue is profit that gets to get taken home and shared amongst the business owners, right? A lot of that is gonna be costs associated with the product that you've built and people you've paid and overhead expenses, that kind of stuff, right? So what I might do is um, a comment in my calculation to talk about that. So. If you add a double forward slash, any text that comes after that on that same line uh, will be in, uh, understood by Tableau that it's a comment, right? So I might say something like represents, you know, um, all costs that go into getting products uh, to customers, okay? So notice that that's gotten kind of long, so a couple of options here. Um, Maybe I could just drop this onto a second line instead so the comment pops up down below, um, right? Uh, I guess another option, or I guess one, one thing I wanna show you is that your comment with this process can't be multi-line. You know, if I knock the second half of that sentence down below, then Tableau's like, what is all this nonsense here? So I guess I could just go down below and, and do another double forward slash. It, that looks a little funny though. Uh, I'd probably like for it to, to all be together, okay? Now I do want to show you that there is a way to do a, um, a multi-line comment, okay? Uh, real quick, before we dive into a multi-line comment in a calculated field, uh, here at One Number, we run Tableau classes all the time, uh, multiple times a month. We've got classes on calculations, Tableau prep, Tableau dashboarding, basics, advanced, everything. You check out this info button in the top corner, uh, you can go to a link that shows you all of our upcoming lineup of classes, and Ollie and I would love a chance to meet you, uh, we can teach you, answer questions, all that good stuff, okay? Uh, so let's dive into our multi-line comments. So I'll create a new calculator field. And so let's say I'm, I wanna create a, you know, just a classic Tableau calculation profit ratio. Uh, so in this case, I'll say something, I'm gonna do it wrong the first time, so bear with me. I'm gonna say if um, 
or I might, uh, how, how do I want to do this? Uh, let me do like, I guess, well, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this. I sort of lost my train of thought there. So let's do this. I'll say like, okay, give me my sum of profit divided by my sales, right? And, and Tableau is not going to like this because one of these fields is aggregated and one of them is not. Um, but you know, may, sometimes you do this stuff and it's not always as clear when you're doing it. Like, why am I getting an error? So, you know, one option is if like, hey, I want to try this calculation again, but I do want to leave my old formula in case I want to come back to it. What I could do to do a multi-line uh, comment out would be a forward slash asterisk. That's the open. And then I'm going to go to a new line and I'm going to do an asterisk and then another forward slash. So what this has just done for Tableau is that this is now a multi-line comment. So you can see if I type something additional in down below, like sum of profit, Tableau doesn't get mad about all this stuff that's there between the slashes and the asterisks. So shout out to Prasan Prem. Um, I saw him talk about this on LinkedIn several months ago. Um, he's a great follow. Uh, thank you to him for, for sharing this tip. That's the first place that I'd seen that and I've been using Tableau for like a decade. So I don't, I don't know if a lot of people know that. Uh, so anyways, maybe I kind of go ahead and complete my thing here. Say, oh, sum of profit divided by sum of sales. Oh, okay, cool, that one's working, you know, this one wasn't, so I can get rid of that now. Or maybe if you want to have a longer explanation for a calculation, you want it to be multi-line, you just, you know, slap that whole thing inside of those slashes and asterisks. So there you go, that's the, uh, the multi-line comment. Okay, so those are a few different ideas for where you put these comments. Um, a common question that I will get is, can you see all these comments in one place? Um, not in the Tableau desktop interface. Now, for those that maybe don't know this, um, there is an ability to be able to do something like if you right click on a Tableau workbook, you can open it with a text editor. So I could say something like um, open with, and then maybe I open it with like my notepad. And then that will pull up all the XML behind the Tableau workbook that's going into this. So that's an option, I suppose. Now I am not really skilled enough to be able to parse the XML, um, but maybe one of you is. Um, so I think there are ways to be able to pull comments out of there, but it's not you know, just a straightforward like export all comments, okay? Um, so yeah, thanks for checking in on this video. Uh, we appreciate you being here. We drop videos like this every week. So feel free to follow along for more Tableau tips and I'll talk to you all later.